And we are live. And I've got the camera on me for right now. Is that okay, Renessa? Sure thing. My camera's blocked. All right, and there we are. I'm just going to share it out to the groups that I'm in, just as a gentle reminder. Can you hear us? Hello. Hey. And we are live. Oh, my speakers are muted. Hang on. Okay. I was just saying we're live. Okay, honey. So I've got the camera on all three of us right now. I'm just sharing it out to my groups. Yeah. And then I'll be able to um, there we go. it'll all be okay. Yep. I'm fighting with my printer. I did that all day yesterday. Yeah, it's wanting to be a pain. There it goes. I don't know what the deal was with it. I had to restart the whole daggum thing. It was crazy. Just wanting to do its own thing today. My computer is really acting up again. Mine is too. It's buffering. No, I'm not getting buffering. I'm just not able to post anything. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Miss Jo. How are you? I'm good. How are you, sweetie? Eh. Yeah. You know my battles over here. Life's a battle right now. Yes, that's one. <laughs> yes. It's like, are you kidding me? To that. Hubby finally, finally took off my old broken printer. I've had the new one now, what, Marina, a month at least? Yep. And I've been waiting for him to drag off the old one. And he finally did. And the box for the new one has been sitting in my kitchen. He's always oh dear. On, yeah, he's always on island time. He doesn't get in a hurry for anything. All right. all right, I've got it shared to most of the groups, so we're all good. So welcome, everybody. Uh, we've got some friends, as you can see. We've got uh, Vanessa from Angel Rose, and we've got Joe from Have Abbott. Um, I'm going to be doing the main project, and then Joe is going to, I think she. you're also doing a, a mini album, are you not? Or are you at least starting to working on one? Yeah, I'm just getting, it's, the Genevieve, basically amazing, is the template 
So. Okay, we're think also Emily is going to be joining us as well, but I'm going to keep the camera mostly on me because, uh, and then when you guys want to show something off, we can. Yeah. Right, I love on. this paper pad I picked up. The peonies. I thought it would be pretty. Why don't you show it there? The camera's on you. So if you oh, want to go okay. through that one, then I'll uh, put it on it's you. It's one of the hot buys from Michael's. Uh -huh. And it's got some gold foiling in it. Let me turn it sideways. It'll be easier to flip. Well, shoot. Oh. Where'd I put my blade? Hang on, I gotta get the. I always forget about the tape on the side. Yeah. See, I'll do that. Then I'm like, why can't I open my book? Okay. The pages are very pretty. Isn't that nice? The pink penny. Oh, that is pretty. It's single sided. Let me see if I can zoom this in just a little bit, guys. Um. Okay, is it my computer or is it your camera? What? It's making noise. Um, Vanessa, are you seeing that? Yeah, it's her camera. Yeah, it's the autofocus. Hang on a minute, guys. I'll turn it off. There, there we go. Yeah, it's trying. Yeah, it was clicking on and off, on and off, and I was like, oh, yeah. okay, dizziness. There yeah. we go. All right, then it's got this page, and it's pretty. Ooh. Well, now I'm zoomed in a little too much. It's got this border on the bottom. He's gone. Yeah. I love the little yeah the white polka dot. So sweet. This page is kind of too big to do anything. My mom went out. Her dog's going to go nuts. Hang on one minute. Sorry, guys. I can't mute her. Marina, go ahead and put it on somebody else so I can mute since she got to go out. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to mute her. Right, that doesn't work. Okay, this is, I think, the best view on this. All right, so this is the best view for what we've got going right now. So um, I'm going to be starting on the 8.5 by 11 album today. And for those of you that do not know scrapbooking, this is your standard D-ring 8.5 by 11 binder. So when you open it, it's got the D-ring in there and basically your pages. Normally, if you were to um, use, normally these call for you using page protectors. So those are the page protectors that you would normally use. And the pages, basically the idea is that you- Marina? Yeah. There's an yeah. echo. echo. It's like three videos. different this is your videos. That's because, no, I've got the, can you still hear the echo? Age protectors. No, nope. it's good now. You... Yeah, it, it, it's fine. It, it's, my volume is muted and I don't have YouTube up on my phone. So I'm not sure where the, the three echoes came from. But anyway, so normally when you do a, 12 by 12 scrapbooking or eight and a half by 11 scrapbooking. The idea is that you were to take page protector, put your layout on it, and then you protect it with these. Um, in the last couple of years, people have started doing the uh, interactive uh, mini albums, as a lot of you have seen, you know, the ones with the flips and the folds and everything else. But as you can see with the page protectors, you can't put a flip and fold in here. You would have to... Um, you know, cut this apart, and there are different ways that you can mat and stuff. Hi, Margaret. Welcome. So my idea here, and I've seen quite a number of people do it. I've got a couple of tutorials on it. I just never sat and did it. Um, there's quite a number of companies out there that have actually made an album like that as well. And 
you know, if you search, there is a couple of people that have done tutorials. There's Scrap and Rabbit. There is Scrapping It Up. There is another company called uh, Turn the Pages. And then there's another company out in Sweden that um, actually made the albums that way. And I'll show you that album because um, I've already started working with it. So this is the album by, um, it's a company called Semicolon out in Sweden. It's a German company and their albums are already pre-made. Um, I got the flat page and then I added all the flips and everything to it. So these are the pages that I did. And this is the similar idea that I'm going to be doing today. But instead of having a pre-made heavyweight paper, I just got my own pre-made heavyweight paper. And I am doing the three rings on the side. So just to give you an idea, this is what this one looks like. So, and it's got your flips and it's got your things. And this one here is an eight by eight, but I wanted to go with the eight and a half by 11. So that gives you an idea of what the album looks like. So, and this is what your pages are looking like. So then going with this idea that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making, it's going to be black and I'm going to show you the paper collection that I'm using, but I'm not going to be using these page protectors. Forget it. That out of the way because I want to do my flips I want to do my folds and everything but I want to use the ring so I've made this this is not my idea it is other people's ideas um, however I took a look at the picture of these designers or scrapbookers and I came up with my own measurements and how to put this together they confirmed they do it the same way but I mean any experienced scrapbooker that has been scrapbooking for 20 30 years from the beginning from when we were starting to use these things can pretty much figure out how we did this and i reinforced the sides with tie back so that you know overuse when you have people constantly you know moving it back and forth it's gonna have a very hard time ripping out of the book because i've got my wedding albums that i made 30 years ago and the plastic is just ripping apart and I'm not saying that this is going to rip apart. This this will. Over time, over use and everything, you know, it will. There's two different ways of making it. One is to use the 8.5 by 11 and adding in the extra hinge. And then the other one is just using an existing 8.5 paper, punching the sides, using tiebacks, tieback to reinforce it, and putting it into the album. And you can look. Just look up interactive three-ring binders, and there's a lot of different examples. Um I'm also going to be doing a lot of um, embellishing as well as cover, not covering, but just putting a lot of pretties on here, except when I was going to start with this and put lace and everything around it. And then I realized I don't have enough fabric tack. So I'm going to have to get, wait till Friday to get some more fabric tack so that um, I can do it. Cause yeah, there's not enough left in the bottle to, to do all the pretties that I want to put on here. So this is the paper that i'm going to be using it is called chow bella it is fairly new it just came out a couple of months ago and i bought um pretty much one pack of the eight and a half by eleven one pack of the uh creative pack which has got your eight sheets in it and then i bought four packs of the 12 uh the 12 sheet the one that's got 12 by 12 in it i don't know if i picked up also the, I have to look. I can't remember if I picked up the eight, the six by six or not. Just wait a minute. I'm just going through the sock bags to see if I picked up the six by six because I can't remember if I did or didn't. Okay, Em. Okay. Oh, I forgot I meant to check it before before this and I forgot. No, I may not have bought the 6x6. Six six. I may have left the 6x6 six because six I didn't really see me using it. So I figured the 8.5 by 11 is more than enough. Uh, I got bags all over the place, unfortunately. And that's... Oh, I'm going to go under that bar. Marina, Emily yeah. said 
time to get her stream yard working. She'll let us know whenever she's ready. If not, she'll just be in chat. All right. Thanks, Emily, for letting me know. All right. So I'm not quite sure. Okay, so this is, oh yeah, that's right, this is going to be the other one. Okay, so it looks like I may not have bought the um, 6 by 6 so no biggie, all good. Did you want to us know we want to go somewhere tomorrow? Yeah. I'll have to double check with her to see. And if he gets the car done. What's he got to do? Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to have a crop of lunch here in a minute, as Emily calls it. Drop the lunch. I'm trying to find the original bag. I have so much. No, okay, I may not have bought it. So this is the only one that I have. Um, I have stuff all over the place, and then I never find it. So this is the paper that I have. And um, all right, Emily, and up in the house record, let me know what your name is. And that way I can say hi to you. Um, so this is the paper we're going to be using today. It's going to be the Chow Bella Frozen Roses. And this is uh, the embellishment card, the creative pack, they call it. It's eight and a half by 11, but I'm going to be cutting the cards and things apart on this. So I'm going to be using them on the flips and folds, and some of them are going to have their the pictures in it as well. So it's got some of that. It's just, if it was one of that December days when it was autumn in the light. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be using this, this thing because it's a wedding album. So... But it is going to her wedding is December 17th of this year. So this is the perfect uh, paper because she's also having it, a Beauty and the Beast um, theme, which is perfect because it's got the roses and it's got these. There's an hourglass in here, as you can see on that one there. It's an hourglass with the things inside of it. So this is kind of, when I saw this paper that uh, Chabella was coming out with, it was just absolutely perfect for what I wanted to do. And the paper pads are pretty much the same. I'm gonna put this back in, it's clean and in that. Now, as to how I'm going to do it, um, I'm not 100% positive yet, but I've started, what I did is I went in and I printed off, my idea here is I printed off some sketches. So those of you that scrapbook also know what going the sketch layouts. So I've got some of the sketches are here and I'm going to be following some of these. Like, so for example, this particular sketch calls because it's an eight and a half by 11. I kind of wanted to get an idea of how many photographs and what the pictures and stuff like that would be on the page. Cause you're not going to be able to go to a 12 by 12, which is normally a four, using a lot of four by sixes and sometimes even eight by 10. You want to go a little bit smaller because it's a smaller page. So for example, this one here calls for um, four pictures that are three by Three. Okay, there's a lot of noise, background noise. Um, whose camera or who's not sure who's that belonging to? Okay. Um, is it mine? Because both of those. It could be mine. All right. My apologies, guys, if it is mine. Um, so just going back to this. Um, okay. Thanks, Joe. So 
yeah, that's perfect, guys. So this is basically the pictures. I don't know how well you can see it, but this one calls for the eight and a half by 11, but you're going to use four three by three with some kind of a title and then just embellishments and a journal titling and the stuff. And it just goes like through different examples of what you do. Now, there are clubs and Facebook groups that you can join that um, each month there is. Uh, yeah. Hang on, Vanessa. There you go. Okay, so each month there is um, Facebook groups that you can join that gives you a challenge if you're interested in learning that. Um, if you want to know more, I can also do it in my group, and my group is in the link below. Um, I also have a link to Class Act uh, website that you'll be able to buy pretty much all of the materials and things that I'm going to be that I'm going to be using today. So the, this one gives you samples of a two-page layout, which most of mine are going to be turned into a two-page layout. And then, um, so this is just basically putting them in. I'm going to try and make at least 10 pages or 10 sections for the uh, wedding book. I also printed out just some simple titles because it's Beauty and the Beast. I wanted to use the uh, Walt Disney funny type of uh, font. So I got that one and basically says the love story of Emily and James Lee, and it's going to be cut out in hearts, um, our love story, and then how we met, our engagement. And it, this one, this is just the first couple of sections. And then it says, he asked, she said yes. So I've got different sizes on that that I'm going to be cutting out. And then I just printed out some pictures of the earlier years of when they met. So I have some of these are in four by fives. And there's this one here as well. And that's going to go in the first couple of pages that I'm going to be doing. Then later on, it's going to get to their engagement, um, which I haven't printed out those pictures yet. I still have to pick about 10 or 15 pictures on that. And then, you know, the wedding and all that, that's going to come afterwards. And that's basically it. And then there's this one. So I'm going to do some kind of collaging with these pictures. Now, they might be a little bit big, so I'm going to have to play around with it. But today, I already got started on some of the pages. I made the hinges. These are the hinges. And then I am using just plain. Uh, these are the pages. Now, I did do one of them. Let me, yeah, here. This is it. So I've got one of them done. So that's the first page. And then on to this one here. This is 8.5 by 11. And then you've got the pocket inserts. So just to show you guys what the idea here is. So you're going to put this in there. Okay. And then you're going to also have uh, the insert, the photo mat insert that's going to come in here. That's going to go out about a half an inch so that when you close the book, it's going to be exactly flush with this. And it's going to have the inserts in here. I just realized that this one here might be upside down. Yeah, it is upside down. All right, so there you go. So now it's pretty much even with the rest of them. And it'll look exactly like a mini album. The only difference is it's going into a three-ring three ring binder. So today I'm going to be working on the first page. And I will do the pages as we go along. I don't want to make too many ahead because there's a whole bunch of sections so for example the first one is going to be um it's how we met our engagement congratulations and so on and so forth so if anybody has any questions please feel free to ask hi kilburns welcome welcome hi kk that's it. See, I knew, I'm still getting to know everybody. I, sh I should make one of you, what you guys do as well is make like a little cheat sheet to, to tell me, okay, this person's this name and so on and so forth. Um, Joe, did you want to show what you're working on or are you good with the background? I'm just staying in the background. I'm good for now. Do what you're doing. All right, hon. Okay. So uh, also the other thing that I wanted to point out is this is eight and a half by 11 paper and I just used two sheets and it is 100 pound cardstock 
It is called Black Licorice, and you can buy it at um, Class Act. She sells this all. And I do recommend going with 100 or 110 pounds. You don't want to go with anything less because of the fact that um, it'll buckle on you when you're trying to add a lot of embellishments and things like that. And I just find 65 pound is a little bit too flimsy. The other one is you also want to go with precision cardstock um, to do your flips and folds, which is 80 pounds. So it's just a little bit less and it'll hold the shape and frame and everything that you're going to need. So on the first page, what we're going to do is I am going to make it so that it's a flip coming down and a flip going up. And then I'm going to have the um, heart border, and I want to do a heart in the middle. So on this one here, <coughs> you're going to go, uh, you're going to cut this down to eight and a half, but not by 11. You're going to keep the full 12-inch 12, 12 sheet, and I'll show you why. So you're going to go to the eight and a half by 11. Okay, and we'll go the other way. Okay, and then you want to cut it down in half. So, so what you basically have is you're going to have two sheets at eight and a half by six. And I'll show you why we're going to do that in this. So, the way this is going to go is you are going to have one sheet on the top like this and the second sheet's going to be on the bottom like this so the first one i'm not going to make it a double layout because obviously it's the first page of the album so it's going to be just simple like this um now before i do anything more i also want to do i bought one of these i had to rebuy it because the original one broke the one that i had and it's got a nice beautiful uh hearts in the uh things and the nice thing about ek success and a lot of these companies that make these expensive uh dies if you let them know a lot of the times when something breaks they'll replace it so i am going to do basically just try and put it as much as i can in the middle Now, there is a way of lining them up, if I can remember what the trick is. See, there's a little picture on the inside. So the trick is that you want to line up the one that you've already punched with that picture that's there. So, for example, I've got a bit of a glare, so I apologize. Okay, it's right about there. I'm going to have to stand up for this. And see, there you go. Comes out nice and even. So do the same thing again. Okay. And then bring it to the other side. And you're going to continue on until the whole thing gets done. All right, that's my first one done. And also the, re the other reason why you want to use 85 pound is when you're doing like that, something with this kind of a design, you want the paper to be a little bit thick because if it's too light, the 65 pound, I find it's really flimsy and over time it'll rip really easily. So again, try to find your middle point. Well, you can actually start on one side. So let's do it this way. And yes, Class Act um, does carry these because that's where I bought it. And she may not have it in stock, but she can certainly order it for you. So anything that I'm using today can pretty, pretty much be bought from them.
Okay, no problem, Emily. All right, so then the next step we're going to do is we are going to turn these two into a flip. Okay, so, and I just realized something which I will fix in a second. So you're going to go half an inch and half an inch. Okay, this one didn't quite work. Now, on this one here, I just want to fix this. For some reason, it didn't. It's got a little bit of lip on that. There we go. Okay, that's much better. All right, so I'm going to add Emily to it. Yeah, welcome. Oh, you're right. Hello, can y'all hear me? Yeah, but it's really, it's like a hum. There's a hum in the background. Uh, I've got a heater going in the background. Yeah, that could be it. I don't, I don't so, hear it. Yeah, and unfortunately uh, with uh, me adding you onto the stream, it's going to have everybody on the camera again, which is fine. I wish they could show it so that, you know, you can pick and choose who's going to be on the screen instead of everybody type of thing. That's okay. So, continuing I'm on. I'm going to put my earphones up to my phone. That way I can hear because it sounds robotic on my end. Yeah. So, if you look now, this is going to be exactly. There we go. So, that's going to be like that. And then this one is going to be here. And don't tell me it end up being, yeah, it's going to end up being a little bit short, but no big deal on that. Because I can put something, well, the heart is going to go in between here as well, too. So, oh, and we lost Emily. It's, she's having trouble with yeah. her USB connection for her webcam. Yeah. All right, so. There we go. Okay, so uh, the camera's back on me. Um, guess I will have to do. I'm gonna do the biggest one of the hearts. I grabbed. So I'm going to need that one. Then I'm going to do some kind of thing. So I'm going to do that one for now. Okay. All right. I need to do my heart. Anyway, yeah, now it'll. So I'll redo that. So I'll leave that for, for something later. All right, so this one here, I need to go here. There is the 
me hurt. Let's put that over here. Check and see what's going on. Okay, so she's backstage again. All right, there we go. Can y'all hear me now? We can. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? And there's an echo. Emily, can you hear us? Uh, she might not be able to hear us. I can hear you. Okay. So you are working on the save the date cards. Is that right, Em? Yep. Yep. All right. So, and we've lost her again. So I'm sure she'll be back. Uh, I'm going to do it this way. have a card here and it's got an MIA so So I am going to try and come on every day or every other day showing the progress of the album. And if anybody would like to come on with me to showcase their work, by all means, you're more than welcome to. So today we have Joe from Have At It and Vanessa was in here, but I guess she may have on to chat only so for now we can put both me and joe in here there we go joe did you want Vanessa to said she'll be back she lost her sound ah she lost her sound too okay did you want to show what you're working on no i'm just building a cover oh, all right okay so i am pretty much doing the same So I'm going to put the shorter one at the top. And you want to try and line it up as best as you can to the very top. And same with the bottom. And I'll probably add in some magnets to hold it shut all the way through. I don't want to use any belly bands on this first page, so. Okay. 
There you go. And you want to burnish it down really well so that it stays down. And it's, you know, it's not perfect, it's, but it'll, I think it'll look really nice. So then the is idea is to go. Say that again. Is Emily backstage? No, she's not. Okay. Well, it must have been a message from earlier then. It just come through. Yeah. So this is the heart that I want to do. Um, now, I want to go a little bit. I'm going to be cutting into the paper pad as well. Uh, so this is the third one. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to run it through. Hopefully it'll be big enough. Of course not. I'm going to have to reprint this. Because James Lee is being cut off. Hmm. Mm, great. All right. So printed it again. It will be. So it James Lee is gonna have to be down here. Okay. And I'm gonna make it just a bit smaller. Okay, same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. There we go. Okay, so it print and print again. And yeah, it's going to be a waste of paper, but no big deal. It's only card. Emily says no, she can come in, but you won't be able to hear her. So she'll come in. You just won't be able to hear. Her. Yeah, that's fine. We can we can do it that way. Okay, so Vanessa's back, and so is Emily. Okay. All right. So Emily, that's fine. We can't hear you, but just go ahead and type in chat. Or get, or, or better yet, learn uh, SOS messages. You know, flash it back and forth, and we'll try and guess what the heck you're trying to say. <laughs> All right. So now I gotta choose. Uh, this is the paper I'm going to be using. And unfortunately, they do not make the bigger pack of the – they don't make this in 8.5 by 11, or else I would have chosen that one first. All right. So I think so – this is the bigger one. Make the smaller one. I wanted to use something with a lot of flowers in it. I guess this is where the six by six paper pad would have come in handy. See, this I think will be beautiful to put those pictures on, but I printed those pictures too big. All right, so this is the first choice. There is also the creative pack. Which one's the creative pack? It's the 12. It's the 12. Which one's this one? Oh, this one's the 8. That's why I didn't have that many choices. Okay, let's try this. I hate that. I mean, it's, it's great that they made the tape on here really hard to get in and out, but you have to literally break it apart. All right. So this one is the actual paper pad. Ooh, this one's pretty. All right, that's the first choice.
Okay, that one. I think this one's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Because I think that one might be too. Okay, so we're going to use this one. going to need like a six if I'm not mistaken. I can even get away with a five. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a minute. Yeah. Were you talking, Vanessa? Emily wants to know what you said. She just plugged in her headphones. I didn't say anything. I was mumbling. This is basically the way it's going to come out. So you've got that. Then you've got this piece. And then we've got this piece. And I'm going to put... It, it ended up screwing up just a little bit over here. So... Um, now, it's going to need um, aged mahogany. I think is what I'm going to use for the... I think that's going to work out absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah, it's perfect luck. It's the perfect color. So Carol was right again because she recommended I go with the H Mahogany. Sorry if I'm quiet. Sometimes I get really quiet when I'm concentrating. There we go. Emily, do you think I can remember half of the things I say? I, I forget not even two seconds later. I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm horrible at that. Thank you. 
So we're going to leave this one over here like that. I think this one I did. So it's going to need not six inches. That's right. Six inches. That's going to be extra. So that's going to be a six. And I think this one's a five. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go with. So, we're going to do it. This one's going to go up here. And I know I just screwed up, but what else is new? So, I forgot to take the quarter inch into consideration. So, it should actually be eight and a quarter. By seven, so it should be six and a quarter. Five and a quarter, five and a quarter. Okay. And then this one needs a quarter off of that side there. Now it should work out. Beautiful. Yeah, I, like I'll be saying something, and unless I get the, 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 the whole sentence out and you remember what I just said, we'll be okay. Otherwise, forget it. I ain't going to remember. All right, so this is how we got it so far. I'm just going to show you guys on camera. There you go. That's going to be the first page. I'm going to leave this. Just black. That's not going to have any color on it. That's cute. Yeah, this, like I said, this paper is just absolutely gorgeous. Marina, you just, yeah. I just have a craft -a lunch over here. <laughs> I do that all the time. All right, so now we've got everybody on camera. Emily Casper moved away from both me and you and went to Vanessa and dropped everything on her uh, floor. There you go. He's moving places. Okay, so. Uh, Please take, take him back. Oh, Emily's going to have to call him back. I can't. She's Emily's ghost, or he's Emily's ghost. This a bit down so you guys can see. I can work a bit higher. Uh, sorry, sorry, Vanessa. Emily doesn't want him back. You're gonna have to find somebody to take him. He's gonna go back. Yeah, probably. So the other thing too is when you're doing scrapbooking, 
in the format that I'm doing it. You want to keep it as simple as possible. A mini album is different. A mini album is is designed to condense everything and basically shrink everything down and get the maximum amount of photos. Scrapbooking, you want to get the photos in there, but you want to do it as simple layouts, at least in my opinion, so that you can actually see what the story is all about. See, as you can see, it's already starting now. All right, so. And then the other thing, too, from watching some videos and things like that, I've also learned certain positions that when you're working with the three ring binder, how you want to make your flips and folds that you don't want it to interfere with the ring, with the actual ring. So and that's the other reason why you've got a 0.75 inch in between the actual page. You don't want to make this page right up against the rings, even though that's your first instinct to do it that way because then it's going to be too close to the rings. And when you try and open and close it, it's going to constantly be bumping against it. All right. And I just realized I did this wrong. Okay. So hopefully. Haha. -ha, saved. All right. That aside there for a second. All right. Um, we'll screw this up. Okay, Vanessa, you didn't have to go far. He's come to me. <laughs> My bad. I figured he would. All right, so I want to put it. He loves you. Unfortunately, As long as he wreaks havoc, he loves everybody. Yep. And I just realized I am doing this all wrong.
Now we can put that sheet back on. These two are here. Now I need to get a cut out one more. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it does matter. All right. So I need another piece of this one. did that wrong. No, it's the big one I need. Duh. Oh. No, the second one. It's going to go on the inside. Just in case you guys are wondering what I just did, I had to cut out a second part to put on the inside. If anyone has any questions, please type them in the chat and all in caps so we can see it. Yeah. And trust me, no question is silly. No question, you know, any question is valid. There's no stupid questions. The only stupid that's, question that they have the, is the that's, one that you that's don't what have. I need to say. <laughs> Now, I was going to prop this up, but it's not going to work on this one because this is the part that needs to go onto the um, page itself for the, the, the magnet. So I'm going to prop the next one up, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's see if you want to prop that up. Then you're going to put glue. This part. Okay. Okay, and so it's going to flip like that. And then you want to prop. Hi, Lucy. All 
Hi, little C. Hi, Carrie. So how are you today? Yeah, Emily's mic is messed up, so you can't really hear her. And uh, Joe is just crafting, but she's also on mute. So she will show us what she's been doing in a little while. So the camera's mostly on me because I am in the middle of creating Emily's wedding album. So I'm on the first page and the new design of this um, interactive three ring binder. And so far it is looking magnificent. Something is bothering it. Okay, I'm not sure how that happened. There we go. I want to also prop this one up. And then I'll be adding in more embellishments and things like that once I get them all cut out and stuff. Right now, I'm just trying to make the base pages. And then I'll have to add in, I want to add in some pictures and some hearts in here because I've got the pictures already uh, done. I just have to cut them all out. There you go. Okay. All right. So the first section is now done. And you'll have, I'll have the pictures put on there, but it goes up this way like that. So now to start on the inside. So I want to use the, I think this one would look real pretty here. Yep, yeah, I'm going to use that one. And then this one doesn't really have a direction, so I can even use it this way. And does this one have a direction? Mm, yeah, kind of. Okay, I could use that one on the top. And then maybe the green on the bottom. John, what's your question? Uh, sorry, what, Vanessa? Is the base black part cardstock or chipboard? Cardstock. It's a hundred pound cardstock. Now on the base to this one, you want to go, I don't want any black showing. This one I do because it's the top layer, but that this one I'm thinking I want it all. I don't want it show because of the joints. So I think I'm going to do this one a full eight and a half by 11. Yeah, I think that's going to look really nice, but I think I'm going to do it on this side like that. And then use the back part because it's, is it directional? Yeah, it is. Hmm. See what else I got in here, maybe. Really like that green one. Oh, wait a minute. Use that one. Need a little 
shoot this one. Whoever's messaging me will have to wait a few minutes. Did you want to show that digi? That digi? Let me finish getting everything on the cardstock, then I'll show it. Hi, Debs. Hi, Debs. Hi, Don. All right, so let's do this one. It's going to be the eight and a half by eleven. Let's go with this one. Yeah, otherwise it's going to look off. So, yeah. Was it going to bring it in a half inch, but I'm going to actually I'm going to bring it in just over inch. And I screwed up. Yep, I screwed up. Congratulations, Margaret. Her son proposed to his her daughter. Uh, his her son proposed to his girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Oh, nice. All right, so I screwed up, but I'm not going to lose this paper. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to tape it back together and recut it and I'll figure something out. Oh wow, she's making a wedding. Oh, scrapbook for your daughter in August. Are you doing it similar to what I'm doing, Des, or are you doing a mini album? And does she have any specific theme? Yeah, the Stamperia wedding album, the the wedding the wedding paper, I've got that as well. But if you're interested in learning how to do this format, I can certainly show you how to do it because it's really easy and it makes a heck of a lot easier than doing a mini album. So, uh, this one is going to be should have been 11, so it should be 11. Right. Yeah, the Stamperia paper, there's two different kinds that they make for wedding. Um, one is the pink and silver, um, and I think that one's just called the wedding paper. And then there is the one that is um, when we met or something like that, but it's more in gold tones, but I'm not too crazy about that one. Peach and gray, then you want to, you want, yeah, you want to get the original Stamperia one. Um, with the Kathy Ortega, Orta, sorry, Kathy Orta, um, it, it depends on which one you want to go with, but I would go with the basic signature, the signature stories, because that is absolutely an amazing album and it's quite big. 
that you'll be able to do it because I took a look at um, quite a number of them and I really wanted an album that was going to be big enough that would take in like big nice pictures that's the biggest key and that's why I decided to go with the eight and a half by eleven and um, make like I'm going to be using the I made my own pages and they're going to be going into this album see it's going to go into this and then this is all going to be decorated it's not it's it's, it's it's gonna have all her colors and everything in there but this is the basic page and you can do this format with both the eight and a half by 11 and the 12 by 12. the only key difference here is that you have to use tie back to reinforce the papers that's it and it's you don't have to build an album you don't have to do hinges you don't have to do anything else like that and that's that's where i wanted to avoid was do the the hinges and stuff i started another album um a couple of months ago before i quit smoking and it's sitting there i haven't completed it but um i think i'm gonna rework that one take it apart and redo it to to make it in this format because i've got another binder that i can use as well it's not as fancy as this one so that's why i chose to go with this one as the first one but this one here, I think it's just as impressive. It's just a lot less work. But it's totally up to you. This is just another way of doing it that makes it easier. It's easier on the budget, too. I'm going to just turn it sideways here. But if you want to see a little bit more of it, Deb, go back to the beginning of the video and I show exactly how to how I'm going to do it. And if you want to learn how to do these pages, just let me know. Um, not right now, probably next month, I'm going to have some Zoom classes where we can all participate and maybe do a small project, maybe make one of these pages and, you know, start you off if you're interested in scrapbooking or if you're interested in um, doing a wedding album um, the other thing too is I'm going to be doing a project with uh, class act that everybody can participate in and we are looking at trying to see what kind of paper we're going to get for that um, I'd like to honestly do something for a Mother's Day project and a Father's Day project but we'll have to see there we go yeah, I went a little bit crooked much better okay. thank you Lise yeah this is totally different this is something I have never done before it is a brand new way of doing albums um, there are people that are doing it that has a couple of tutorials out there I just find that because I'm a scrapbooker with a lot of years of experience, I don't need to find, I don't need to follow a tutorial for this particular one. exactly deb exactly that's that's see this is my first page because this is going to be the first one the second layout which is going to be on the back okay it's going to be it's just going to be one that flips open this side with the two page spread out and then the matching one is going to be flipping onto the right with the two page sp spread so um Yes, this paper here is called Chow Bella. It is called Frozen Roses, and it's really, really appropriate for for Emily's wedding because she, her wedding is on December 17th, 
and it's kind of in the middle of winter and she's got a beauty and the beast wedding theme which means you need the roses you need the red you need the yellows everything's perfect for this particular paper line okay so so far that's good i like that just a little bit crooked it ain't going to make the difference when the in the scheme, in thing is, scheme of things okay so now i need let's see here i need And as, as you can see, I broke my Tim Holtz ruler. So, Carol, if you're listening, I need another Tim Holtz ruler. So, five and three quarters by five and three quarters and four and three quarters. Okay, so five and th I should be able to do it all in one. So, we're going to do eight and a half, so it's going to be eight and a quarter. And then 4.75. So right now I am just doing the base pages, getting this tacked on. What do you think? Should I put, okay, so that's going to be in this part. That's going to be in this part. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I want to put anything else because then you're going to have the pocket on the inside here. So as you guys know, or some of you guys may not know, I quit smoking on November 19th. And it's now been three months since I am smoke-free. And it is such a difference. It makes a big, big difference. And I know it's hard. I didn't go cold turkey. Um, I started with Champax. And uh, yes, you do get nightmares. Yes, you have sleepless nights with the Champax. But um, I figured that was the only way that I could get through it to get my system um low enough or unenergized enough that I'll be able to kind of put down the smoking. Like I needed to really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not be so hyper. And that's what the Champax did for me. It really brought my system down. So I wasn't so hyper and I was able to quit. Then I started almost immediately after I finished my last smoke. I started the next day after I had that last final three cigarettes. I switched to the NRT patches, the Nicorette patches, and I started on the 21 milligrams. I went for six weeks on the 21 milligrams. Thank you, Debs. And then I am now, since about middle of January, I'm on the 14 milligram. Um, I finished the 14 milligram at the end of next week, and then I'm going to try dropping down to the 7 milligram and see how, how it goes with that one. But we'll see because, yeah, right now my body is still screaming for cigarettes. So um, I've had to supplement it with lozenge and with the um, thanks to Joe. Have at it, Joe. Um, she sent me the Freedom Free Dent gum because I wear full dentures up in – up and lower and freedom gum is not sold in Canada. So she sent me to my US address. She sent me some packs of gum to try out and they are amazing so that I'm not getting nicotine in my system all the time. Cause yeah, that was one of the things that the counselor kept saying is that you have to wean off your dependency on nicotine. And that's the whole point of quitting smoking is that you want to get off and Get your body not used to the nicotine. Okay. I did. Yeah. Dev said she did that. Yeah. Ago. yeah, I just saw that. She went, I couldn't do it. I tried. I tried three years ago going curled turkey when they wanted me to do the weight loss surgery. And yeah, nope. But since then, I've also become diabetic. So now the medication that I'm on, yeah, that's making the decision for me. Or that has made the decision for me. It's 
So how's everybody doing? Joe, you ready to show anything? Vanessa, you ready to show anything? You can let Vanessa. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. As long as you're not on the spotlight, right, Joe? That's right. You know me. There. All right. Say that again, Vanessa. I said she's throwing me under the bus instead. Of course. Better you than me. Yeah, what are friends for? Uh, um, I do have somewhere in my flash, I do have wedding, wedding ribbon, and I'm going to go back, ah, not ribbon, wedding washi tape. And if it matches, I'm going to put some wedding washi tape on the edges. But, <coughs> but the so simple and easy. You open it up, and it says the love story of Emily and James Lee, and it is uh, Disney font. And then you open it up, and there. Now, question is whether I want to. I think I do. Shall we start putting some pictures on there? Let's Go see. for it. Sure, yeah. part. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay, this one here is the one that I did a special thing for it. Because this one's going to be... Um, okay. All right. Put that one over here. Nope, that's the other sheet. Uh, I buried it. I buried it. It's not that, not that, not that, not that. That one... Sorry, guys, bear with me. I buried it. Just got to find it because I already printed. Yeah, there it is. All right, so I am going to be fussy cutting this out. I don't know how it's going to work. We are going to see if it works. I hate fussy cutting. I do too, but <clears throat> give me a break. Don't make me do it. My scissors has walked away. Hmm. Try these ones. All right, we'll try these ones because I do not like little. I have to clean them. Now, this may not work. We'll have to see. But I really wanted to use this kissing booth uh, frame if I can. And I may have to mount this on block. Now, if we were doing this a class act, I know she would go a step further. So, Carol, if you're listening, we would probably be matting this with a red behind it. But um, I was only able to get my hands on 10 sheets, 11 sheets of it. Um, and with the coronavirus and everything going on with the shipping, um, God knows when I would get my hands on more. So I am going to have to conserve it and use it just for extreme instances when I'm doing backgrounds. That stuff ain't cheap either. It's pretty expensive for cardstock, at least here in Canada. I don't know about in the States. But as you saw, Joe, like when I did the exchange and everything, the price came out to virtually the same. Yeah. So the only difference is that we pay the 35% on top. Here's my smart. Okay. All right. Hey, Teresa. Okay. Uh, who are you not being able to see? I didn't put it on the four-way because most uh, – Vanessa and Joe didn't want to be on camera, and Emily, we can see her, but we can't hear her. So, but let me know if there's somebody specific that you can't see.
Oh, she's good. So this is the first one. So now let's see if this is going to work. Um, I need to use, I need to do this, and I need to do this. I don't know about you guys, but I do not like using, I know there's tricks of ways of doing this on your cutting mat, but I don't like it that way. So I prefer to use an X-Acto knife when I'm doing stuff like this. So I figured I will do this page today and then we'll see how much time is left after it. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that need to make dinner and so on and so forth. And I know I need to get on game as well because today Tuesday and everything's reset. So I'm sure... My friends are going to be wondering, okay, when is she going to come online? Because Tuesday is when we do everything. Tuesday, Friday, and Saturdays. And the rest of the week, I usually do a lot of crafting and stuff. All right. When I can. All right. So now... And, of course, my fussy cutting scissors have gone MIA again. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> okay, Marina, if you want to put it on me... If not, that's okay, too. Yeah, give me a second, because I'm just fussy cutting this anyway. All right, so I'm going to put it on Vanessa. All right, the camera's on you, Vanessa. Hi, everybody. The paper I'm using for a project that I'm going to be doing live is from uh, She Share Crafts with Karen Kane. Her YouTube channel is She Share Crafts, and you can contact her on Facebook by uh, contacting Karen Kane. And this is one of uh, uh, two of her daily kits. I and I think this one here may be pretty in pink, and this one I'm not sure of. Uh, I can tell you because I've got both of those kits. Give me a minute. Okay. Um, you have to contact Karen. KK directly because yes. I believe she does not have it listed anywhere. That's true. Um, okay, so documents. I have this one that's in the kit. I didn't Eight. put the name. I have it mixed in. This one. Okay, Vanessa, it's called Vintage Rose Digital. That's the red one. Yeah, and then she's got the, that's, no, that's also the pink one. I, I've got them both, the red, the Vintage Rose, and then she's got the Pretty in Pink. Okay, yeah, this is the, yeah. the pink one is Pretty in Pink. Yeah. And the red one is the Vintage Rose. Yeah, and then she's also got the purple collection. So she's got three different collections. Yep. And the reason I uh, taped it to cardstock with double-sided tape from Dollar Tree is because my my printer does not pick up uh, cardstock. I haven't tested it, so I just fussy cut. La 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 la. Tongue twister. Uh, I printed everything out, fussy cut it, double sided taped it, and I'm going to fussy cut it again. If y'all have any questions, just let me know. 
Okay, Marina, you can put it back on your Yeah, okay. give me give me a minute though because I just realized I screwed this up. All right. How about you, Joe? Are you ready to show anything? No. Uh. <laughs> All right. That's pretty direct. No. That's a pretty firm no. Okay. And Emily is uh, working on save, save the cards. No, save the date cards. And she did do a live on her channel regarding those cards last week. Unfortunately, she can come in here and craft, but she can't get the sound on her uh, computer to work. So these are pictures that uh, Amy, Emily gave me permission to take off of her website to use for her album. So this one was taken, I believe, and Emily, correct me if I'm wrong in uh, in chat, but I believe this one was taken in 2014 or 2015, 15, 15 or 16. And um, under this picture, the caption reads that it's the, the picture that she most believes that's about her and James Lee. So I, snapped it and I am going to put it as the main focus of this spread. Now, this is probably not going to be the correct colors, so I may have to back this in black, but we'll see in a minute. So, um, this one here, the collection that I'm using for some of these photo mats, is by Echo Park and it's called Cupid, Cupid and Company. So yeah, Lise, this is the new way of me doing pages. So I'll do mini albums if somebody really wants it, but I prefer to start concentrating on back on my actual scrapbooking. So this is the same thing. It's an interactive scrapbooking album. The only difference is it's going to be in two sizes, which is eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12. Or if somebody really wants the new ones by scrapbook.com, they have the new uh, D ring binders that is nine by 12. However, with those ones there, um, I can make the pages, but you'll have to buy the binder. I cannot get them. It's exclusive to scrapbook.com. It would cost triple for me to have it imported to Canada and then export it back into the States. Mm. Okay. Okay, what do I need? Joe, we can hear everything. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. It's just funny, all of a sudden I hear her tapping. I do that all the time. <sighs> what do you need? Do we have to go yeah, I don't. brains I'm again? Thinking. See, I know you guys I'm, have to go after mine. I'm thinking. <sighs> oh. I know these pictures are not the greatest, but unfortunately over the years, hey, you take what you can get. Right. All right. Let's take a look and see how this is going to go or if it is going to be... <laughs> Emily, this is supposed to be a celebration, not for you to be cheering up. Aw. Emily's oh. got a soft heart. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at this. Oh. And can you imagine if I, if I fussy cut out the hearts and pop those up? Look at this. This is just perfect. I don't know. What do you all think? Should I back it out on black just so that it stands out a bit more? Why not? Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to need the black. Or, oh, no, no, not black. How about red? How about backing it on red? Let's take a look and see. <coughs> hmm, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got, I have, you might have an avalanche, but I hope not. I've got red velvet. Ooh, red velvet. Hmm. 
because red velvet paper would work. I ended up having, I ordered it for something totally different a couple of years ago from Amazon and I never ended up using it and it just might be the per perfect color for this album. Yes, they are very happy tears, I hope. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this, guys. Look at that. I still might need the block, but I think the red. What do you all think? Put the red in here? Yeah, that red makes it really pop. Makes it pop, doesn't it? Yes. Go for it, girl. Go for it. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Okay, let's close this down. Because this is going to need a bit of room. Okay, and then, because I think it's too, yeah, it's not big enough. It's got to go this way. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it makes it really pop, doesn't it? Okay, so I think I want to put the photograph on there first. Now, mostly when you guys make wedding albums or you make some kind of albums, a lot of the times you're not going to have photographs. I just kind of got lucky and found some that were perfect on Emily's website. So, and then I'm going to make photo mats for the rest of them. So she can, just, all she has to do is cut out her pictures and then put it on the, on the page. Oops. Not and like I said, ladies, if you want next month, um, we are, I am planning on a class with class act regarding this, whether it's going to be an album kit or something, I don't know. If not, I will be doing a uh, zoom cheat sheets that you guys, and you can guys can use any paper pods, any um, kit that you want to use. I'm going to leave it totally up to you. I mean, obviously, if you want me to order you something, by all means, we can discuss it because there is, oh my goodness, there's quite a number of new collections coming out, especially, and it may have come out already because I think Joe said it's already available for the Lady Va Vagabond for you um steampunk lovers there is a, the new chabella chabella is coming out with three more new collections coming out i believe in march or we can even do this collection if you wanted to yeah exactly emily this makes it really pop not speed this up. Hey, Teresa, are you still here? She's still with us? Don't know. I ain't seen anyone chat in a while. Maybe she got busy again. Thank you for 
can get a lot of pictures of your family on there. Yeah, exactly. Me too. I put all my pictures up there that whenever, I mean, they don't come out the greatest when you reprint them, but the memories are there. And that's what I love about Facebook. And sorry if I am mangling the heck out of this. I am trying my best. And without the scanning cut, there's no way in heck I can do this accurately. So, Joe, have you used the Cricut yet? Have you done any projects yet with it? No. Well, I went on the Cricut website and downloaded some things that I'm going to do. Oh, good. My daughter-in-law came over and showed me how to do that. So, it's like, that works. All right. So, I think because the base is black and because this red is so bright, I don't think it needs the black. What do you all think? I think it just needs a, a journaling card right here. And maybe Definitely some roses. Card. Yeah, it's going to need a journaling card right here. And then, let's see here. And then I've got one that you guys are going to laugh at that I think is really appropriate with this one. Kisses are 25 cents. What a cheap day. Exactly. See? See, see, see? That one has... Five cents, and then they brought it with kisses are 25 cents. So I'm going to put it right there and over that. Not make it look like it's such a cheap date. And then here's your ticket. of that sheet that I just cut. See, I, I even I even printed up the pucker up lips. Cute. 
And this one Very says, cute. one of them says, the kissing booth, only 25 cents per smooch. Pucker up. I hope James Lee has enough money for those puckers. Yep. He's going to have to dish it out. Nuts. Why are you? I have got to buy. Well, I was going to say I got to buy a decent pair of scissors, but honestly, dollar store scissors are still the best for me. I've got a couple of decent pair of scissors that I paid a lot of money for, and I hate them. I don't like the Dollar Tree, the little ones, these new little no, ones. I get the ones. ones, these ones. That's from the Dollar, 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 dollar Tree. Yeah, these suck. Yeah. No, no, I don't get the small ones. Yeah, I don't like them. I tried them. All right, why are you being a pain now? So right now I'm just cutting out some of the ephemera and see how it comes out around because I want to put some journaling pages and I got to put some more pictures on here. There's the there's the All right. Um Back. Yep, that'll work. There we go. Um I almost feel like I'm missing something. Can y'all hear me? We can yeah. hear you now. Oh my God. We got your the mic was turned off the whole time. I told you. Oh my God. The, the mic was turned off. I just looked up and I seen the red mic. I was like, oh, MG. Huh. Well, now y'all can hear me. <laughs> told you there had to be something that was off. You had the mic turned off on your end. That's why we. Oh, it was the button up here. Yep. Oh well, it wasn't. I wasn't saying anything interesting. The boys in the background were actually singing and had country music kind of loud, so I'm glad y'all didn't hear it. Yeah, because his cousin just got home from work. Hey, name it. Somebody there with you? Hang on. Oh, that came in real loud. I don't 
know who was trying to call, but I declined it. Did y'all hear my phone ringing? No. That was my phone ringing and it just kind of froze up for a minute there. I'm like, who the heck's calling? It didn't even show. Spammers. I get them 20, 30 calls a day. Yep. It is still yeah, cold in this room, and I've got the heater blowing in here. Right, froze. Sorry, what did you say, I Joe? Congress wants to spend money on something. Why don't they spend money on stopping robocalls? Tell me about it. Exactly. Um, They're annoying. About six months ago, I got started getting phone calls from the where it shows up in your phone it shows uh, the the letter the plus the plus sign and i get like 242 area code which is overseas out in japan and england and stuff and i have blocked i think no less than a hundred of their phone numbers they yeah. just keep calling mm. over and over all times of the day and the first time it happened i thought it was important i figured okay maybe somebody was trying to get a hold of me from you know from one of the japan stores and stuff that i buy stuff from and so i called the number back it put me on hold and i waited and i waited well after 10 minutes i hung up i get a 75 dollar bill from my uh telephone company i freaked i called them i said what the heck is that she goes well you made a phone call to a 242 plus number i'm like no they called me first. I said, I didn't even know who the heck I was calling back. She goes, well, don't let it happen again. We'll take it off your bill this time around. But only if the number shows up with the, nu the, the number one, don't answer and don't call back any other number that has got the number one. I don't call them back anyway. I don't know. Well, no, no. Send I don't under my voicemail. Yeah, but what, what's happening though, it because they somehow hacked in my phone, everybody, so if you were to call me on my phone, it shows up as a, a plus, shows up as, a, as an international overseas call. So I have to look at the number and if it starts with that plus plus the letter, the number one, then I know it's local Canada. So go ahead and answer it because it could be God knows, you know, my insurance company, it could be my uh one of my kids calling or something like that so because what they did is when they started calling my number with the international number it screwed up my alg the algorithm and now it shows they're all international it doesn't charge me but i have to look and see what the number is yeah my counselor called last week, the one that's helping me get through this non-smoking, and she called from a um, called from her uh, home number because she's home for the week with the the COVID and everything. I didn't answer it, so she sent me an email. She goes, "I tried calling you." I said, "Well, I didn't recognize the number because I'm trying not to answer numbers that I don't recognize." Oh, I got a call from Bangladesh earlier. Yeah. It it rang it it showed up as Bangladesh. I'm like, oh heck no. I ain't answering your call. <clears throat> I wonder how business phone numbers get get bypassed the spammers. I don't know. Like major corporations like Walmart and everything else, how do they bypass all the spammers that have everybody's numbers? Uh, they give them numbers, so they buy them from them. Any yeah, the only problem with the with our number because they're doing it to see about numbers in the area to open another store or something. Don't give it to them. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. they sell your phone numbers to other companies. Oh, yeah. 
That's how the spammers are getting our numbers is they're selling them to overseas people and, and telemarketers. Yep. They yep. make profit off our phone number. Yeah. Deb says um, she gets weird phone numbers calling her work a lot. You know how I get rid of them? I give them my old house number. But see, uh, the problem is, uh, Vanessa, a lot of those numbers are reassigned. So you've just now given someone else the same problem. Yep. And I know it's not a lot, but I know for a fact my number had been reassigned to my son for a while. So now he's now getting those those phone oh, calls. Yeah. So I just say, you know what? It's not available. Goodbye. <laughs> or unless they want me to verify a number they've given me, I won't give them another. I won't give them my actual number. I love when these people call and say, can we verify your information? Can you tell me what your social insurance number is? Or can you tell me what your address is? I'm like, no, you tell me what you've got on file and I will verify whether it's yes or no. But I ain't giving it to you. I ask them, why should I give you the information? You tell me you should already have the information on hand. Exactly. One lady got pissed off. She goes, I'm going to sue you. I said, by all means. You want to sue me? Go ahead. But then at least both me and the judge, the, me and the judge know you're legit. Hmm. It's like, you want to have a, a phone party? Let's have it. Hmm. <clears throat> if it's that important, they'll come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I say. All right. So now, So I know that this is taking time, guys, but I want to take my time and I want to actually sit and make make these, like do the actual. No, that's going to have to use the other one. Like I want to sit and make all the pages instead of doing half of it online and half of it offline. You know what I mean? No, that's not going to work either. Try this one. That will work. <sighs> This one here, I'm going to have to go this way. I've ordered, you know how this, see how the, the punch goes this way instead of the corner like that? Oops. Okay. So instead of using the round, the corner rounder like this way, it's it's called an inverted punch. I've ordered it. They finally came out with one. Hmm. It's called hunky dory, and uh, Carol's got it on order, so she's gonna call me as soon as they come in. I saw some another crafter use it and she goes, it's brand new. It just came out. I'm like, okay, I want that. <laughs> yeah, Deb, it, it takes a very long time. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to do page by page, especially since I've got some of the pictures on this one. Because I know this one's therapy for me. And then I've got another project that I've got to get done. Um, I still have I still have Wendy's project that I've got to get done. And then after this one, I've got another album to do. I gotta go back to doing my uh, best friend's 
kids' uh, wedding album, but that one is using the uh, P13 wedding paper and mixed in with the um, with Minte. And I had started on that album before I quit smoking, but I couldn't handle continuing to craft when I quit. So I had to put everything away for a couple of months until I could sit back there. See, now I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm a little stressed right now, but not as much as when I first quit. When I quit, every, every when I first quit, every time I sat here, it was like the first thing I did was reach for a cigarette. So when do, you work next? System. when do you work next, Dan? Huh? When do you work next? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I don't want to, but I have to. I got to make that money. <laughs> hey, it's for a good cause. You got to pay the, put the money aside for your wedding. See, see, it's for a good cause. Look, look what you did last week. We, you needed something off of Etsy. You had the money order it without even having to blink instead of waiting and you know worrying about where you're going to get the money for yep. this where you get the money for that yeah i sure they did oh. all right i'm gonna mute for don't a stick to me door uh, i'm gonna put the camera on you joe why me? Oh, you got you can put it on me. I ain't doing nothing special. Ha, ha, ha. I ain't doing nothing special, but you can put it on me that way. They don't have to be on camera if they don't want to be. She ended up with Vanessa. <laughs> oh. Like, yes. Let Vanessa have it. Okay, that's good. I'll get you back to this one, Joe. Don't worry about that. Oh, good. While they've got the camera on, you got. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll take it for the team. Don't worry. Hmm. We know you okay. will, Vanessa. All right. All Set right. my earbuds down. Can't hear you. Okay. It was my next door neighbor that I'd forgotten. I quit smoking. She came over to ask me for smoke. I said, sorry, hon, I'd give you one, but I quit. She goes, oh, yeah, I forgot you told me that. Why, Marina? Yeah. Why are you putting it on me? I put it on everybody. All right, hang on a minute. Wait. Well, you had, when you left, you had it on me. Oh, you even better. No, I had, it, I had it on Joe. No, you had it on me. Nope. Okay, you there. Fine by me. Don't worry. I gotta take a break and sit up a minute. My back's a There we go. Okay. Now it's back on me. Oh, no worries. Oh. I'll take it for the team. Yeah, exactly. Deb says she loves making snippet rolls. Yeah, because I guess Margaret's doing one. I have yet to make a snippet roll. And me I got, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't. It's great therapy, and I just don't see the use of it. Yeah, I don't think I would use them. I would. For what, though? What it is is when you make it, and if you can't find what you want, you get a little piece of fabric or whatever for, like, a tag or whatever. Instead of cutting it off a big piece, ow, and I just slipped my finger open, um... You cut a little piece off of the snippet roll and use it in a project. That way you don't have to cut the, you know, the big pieces. And instead of having so many bags of uh, odds and ends of fabric and lace and whatnot, you have the snippet roll. Hmm. I think that's what they use it for. 
Not sure, but that's what I would use it for. Why not? You know? Yeah. I mean, I have yet to make one. I have yet to make a junk journal. I've made everything else but those and things. Some kind of... I need some kind of a journal paper. <laughs> I'm going to use one of these. I knew these were going to come in handy. I had to go in there and brag to. I had to go in there and brag to James Lee about the picture you 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 did, Marina. <laughs> I did. I said it's going to look awesome. All right, so I have these little note cards. And I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. I know the colors are not right, but it's perfect. Look. Close enough. Close enough, and it's perfect for it. Yeah, I think Love I'm going to fussy cut it just a little bit. I can use it. Oh, See that you know? turned out really good. I think I'm going to... Cut this down a bit. I'm going to cut it down to here. Okay, and I think I'm going to... Then what I can do, take this, that's coming out really pretty, Marina. Thank you. Got to back this on some cardstock and put that on some cardstock. Where's that piece I got? It's going to be on this one here. Okay. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. It's going to need two and a half by five and a half. Two and a half by five and a half. What the heck? That one just went all wonky. Uh. Ugh. That is just perfect. All right, so I'm going to... Well, that's going to fit funny in the envelope. Because it went all wonky. If I had it 
straight in the beginning, but then when I went to put the vellum in, that happened. Huh. That's weird. See? Well, then I it's even got the lip. Hang on, I'll put it on you in a sec. Okay. That is weird. And I made sure it was lined up too. Uh, I don't want to have to redo this one. How the heck am I going to fix that? All right, put it on you again. See, this happened. Oh. Well, the only suggestion I have is just cut it there and it's going to be wonky to begin with. Send that to the person. Now you look, don't at like. his, look. Yeah. Oh. No, I, that's that's an expression of me. I don't know. See, it's went it all wonky. Oh, then you're gonna have to read. Well, I gotta that. fix this somehow. Oh yeah yeah. Well, we Maybe I can kind of pull and tug. I worry about that another time. That's that. I'm gonna put that to the side. I'll probably have to start on that one again. All right, back to the drawing board. All right. Now for this, I'm almost done with that too. Dang it! All I had to do was put the rose on the back and put the picture in. <laughs> Weird. Deb says she thinks she made a video making a snippet roll way back when. All right. So some of them come out really pretty. Yeah. I still don't know what I would use it on. Yeah, I don't do. Okay. Got that. That's gonna bug me. You're gonna be there. You're gonna be there. You're going there. I'm just gonna snip the threads and I'm gonna try and refold it. Cause the holes are gonna be the same. I'm going to need something right here, but I'll do that after. All right, so this one is, okay, where is my other, this is going to need to be backed, no, actually I don't like that one. That's a little better. That shows you my, my handicraft is, is sturdy because it hardly will move for me. There we go. We got it almost. Almost right. back to where it's supposed to be. We're going to put that one away for the moment and we are going to cut some of these pictures out. Otherwise, All right, so the other one is going to be a two page spread. One, two, so we can cut these ones out, these ones out, those ones out. Okay. Maybe I can fix it by doing that. If not, I just messed up a set. Two, 
trim, 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 trim. I'm gonna trim this till I make it come true. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? <laughs> I did it. I trimmed it up to where it ain't look. Don't look too bad. I, I, I went ahead and I, it got to bugging me. I just I just trimmed it out. I mean, it ain't gonna look that bad. I mean, it's just off just a little bit. See, I told I mean, you nothing's perfect. So. Nothing is perfect. We're always able to fix it. Yep. Crafters are. We exactly. We it'll bug the living crap out of us. We can jimmy rig anything. Yep, my granddaughter, a couple of days ago, broke both of these pieces off of her glasses. Her mom messaged me, can you fix them? I said, well, I can get them back on, but you won't be able to close them. And she brought them over yesterday, and I used UV resin and fixed them on there, and she's able to wear them again. Well, hot day. Crafty, yeah, now crafty. a week. And we all know oh, how wow. expensive glasses are. Oh, yeah. That would have cost her a pretty penny if she had to yeah. bring that to the place to get so, them. I remember I, uh, whenever I got my glasses before I lost them, <laughs> they costed me $500 for one pair of glasses because they were the frameless glasses. And I had a prescription, a uh, a private pers a private doctor's office. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> they are expensive, so... I say I, I do need to go back to the I'm waiting I need at, to go back to the I need to have my go back. Um, mine the government helps me pay for glasses but they won't issue me a requisition until I have a new prescription so I have to wait till I get the appointment with the doctor and the last time it took a year for me to get the appointment with the doctor isn't that ridiculous yeah wow it's because I'm diabetic, so I need an actual specialist. I can't just go to any uh, spe like any eye doctor. They won't pick up if I have something in them. So that's why the when I because they had called and said, "Okay, we've got an appointment for you next week, and you come right away." I'm like, "Well, where are you located?" She goes, "Well, we're in such and such a spot." I said, "Well, are you on a hill?" She says, yes. I said, then I can't come. I said, I specifically said, I drive a standard. I am not getting into, I'm not going any place that is on a hill because my car will roll back and I can't guarantee that it won't. Oh yeah. I hate that. So, and she said, I hated driving. that because you had she to freaking. I, joking. I said, I'm not joking. I said, I drive a standard and I, you know, if you, if I had to get to you by going up a hill, that's fine. But because you're on a hill, yeah, no way. Besides, I want to go remember back. Remember learning how to drive those? Yeah. What I want to go back to the what same time I went to. Because he was really, really nice. And he took the extra steps and actually measured my eyes and did it properly. Deb's work day ends in four minutes. Yay for her. Woohoo. What? Deb's work day ends in four minutes. Wait, she's finishing at 3.30. However, what time is it where she's at? That's the question. Well, she said hooray, so I'm thinking it's ah. 3.27 wherever she's at. God, I love this photo paper. It is so nice. It is not glossy, which means you don't get that glare on them. And you don't get fingerprints, which drives me up the wall. All right. So, oh, so you've got the matte paper. Yep, I got the matte. You're all right, Nova. Just be quiet. Sit there and be <laughs> quiet. Like you have it. She's been doing so uh, good. Girl. Just keep being good and quiet. <laughs> he's like, she's like, uh uh. Uh uh, I ain't gonna do it. I know. <laughs> uh, like she said, yep, you're right. 
You can do it. <laughs> you can do it, number girl. You can do it. Crazy chicken. You're such a bad jungle chicken. Yes, no, we know you're there. Okay. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this is so far the top part. And then I've got, and I've got to glue everything down, but take a look how that one is. At the top Pretty. part. And then, then you've got this part. And then this is going to be a real big paint. There we go. Aww. And it's going to be all backed in red. Nice. Uh, and this one. You just got not, the one where we went uh, we on, February, on, on Valentine's Day, that one in the corner there. We were actually out on Valentine's Day. There you go. It was a couple of years ago, about three years ago, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's going to work beautifully over there. And that one's going to be on, okay, so this is going to be on the inside. I'm going to close this up a bit more. Right, I fixed it, it. Yay! Sort of. They don't look as bad. Yeah, she said, she, Nova says, uh uh. Nope. <laughs> Nova is a very opinionated female. We notice. Yeah. Aren't we all, though? Yes, we are. All right, where'd my mark go? There it is. Don't you hate it when you mark a paper and then as soon as you pick it up to put it in the cutter, you lose it? I need to get a new blade for that roll cutter and the blades that go on the other one too. Like all my blades are dull. <coughs> I don't like these two pictures. Bye, Miss Deb. Bye, Deb. Thank you for hanging out with us. Have a good rest of your day. I can't remember. Let's see. Thank no. Oh, I just dumped my dang glitter again. I'm going to have it all over my desk again.
one there. This one. I'm going to see if I can unplug ears. Okay, much better. Much, much better. There we go. Then it needs, it's going to need something right here. So you just start that kissing book thingy. No, we have to get something else. It's going to definitely need something to hide right in here. So this is what I got so far. See, I dug all your pictures, Em. Everything I dug out. So, what time is it? 2.30. Been on for about two and a half hours. So, how are you guys doing? Fine. Okay. How about you? Yeah, I am doing very well. I'm liking this. I'm really, really liking this. I'm liking that I'm using pictures, that I'm not having to struggle right. to figure out how to map them. But these are definitely going to need to be matted. I'm debating whether I want to reprint this picture to be a little bit bigger, though. And get rid of all the garbage and everything on the background of the picture. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as is. Because then the other one's going to have, yeah, the other one's going to have four and four on the outside and then something on the inside because it's going to have those ones there. Okay, so we're going to leave these two. That's got to be matted. Those two have got to be matted. I think I don't want to use that that paper. So I think I'm going to use the other kind of paper. There, I'm going to use this one. Pomegranate. Use this one. There we go. Yeah, that is going to look absolutely gorgeous. Okay. This one's there. I don't need to do that one. I do need. Okay, so. Thank you. 
There we go. So let us know, is anybody else doing any projects out there be besides us? So tomorrow's Wednesday, uh, I'm thinking around the same time coming on. Like I can do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. And then uh, Friday and Saturday, we'll take it off. And then Sunday, we have the, the group one, right, Joe? We're going to go back on Sunday? I'm pretty sure. All right. Why do you look odd? But I mean, if you guys want, um, if anybody else is going to go live, that would be cool. Maybe jo uh, Kathy can even join us tomorrow. I can't tomorrow. I'm going, hopefully, down to Savannah. All right. So. Hit some Hobby Lobbies down in South Georgia. Hi, Nana. Did uh, Nana, did Carol call you from Class Act? Because I talked to her last night and she said she was going to try and get a hold of you. All right. Um, maybe you can email me your phone number and I'll double check because when I talked to her last night, she said she was going to call you first thing. Maybe the message got garbled or something. I don't know. Either that or you'll just have to keep on trying to call her. Because I know today she probably would have been super, super busy. Because today is the first day that she would have been allowed to reopen. And I'm sure everybody and their brother were going to go visit her. All right. Now, I don't want to fool around. With Give me a hard time. Okay. Yes, she has an online store and she has an actual store itself. She's got both. 
so and the store was reopening today the, but the thing is the chipboard that you want will not be on the online store because you want it in a package and she only sells it like i believe on the website it's only listed individually I'm doing good. We are just all sitting here crafting and I'm working on Emily's wedding album. So I'm done the first pages and I'm using a new way of making pages in a binder. So I've designed a new way. So this is the, the new page and I'm using the Chow Bella Frozen Roses collection. And it says, uh, the love story of Emily and James Lee, and it's using the Disney font. And so far, when you open it up, it's going to have a flip on the top and a flip on the bottom. And that is going to be the first picture. And then I'm going to put the little things here. And then I'm going to fussy cut the heart so that it pops up. And then I'm just working on the pictures now. And then the whole thing is going to be coming together. It's getting there. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I was muted again. That's okay. As long as we know that we can hear you now. At first, I didn't think you all were responding, but then I looked up and I'm like, I've been talking to myself for the last few minutes. <laughs> I do that. I do that all the time. I do, I do. I no, I don't have any more. I don't have any more of this either. I love no, 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 no.
That's just the backing paper, right? What? The one that the one that you're putting the pictures on, that's the backing paper. Then? Yeah, yeah. This is just just to make mats on them. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say, um, we got a little problem there, Houston. <laughs> Yeah, it's just because I, I want I want to double mat them because otherwise it it blends too too far into the paper. But I'm stuck. I don't have any more. I'm out. Emily got booted. Uh, she should be back in a few minutes. Yeah, she'll be back in. Yep. Give her a minute. Yep. So how you doing, Joe? You got that thing figured out? Oh, yeah, I'm doing good. So how are you doing, Nana? What are you up to?
Did you see the, uh, I mean, I keep wanting to say Frank then she was doing that Ann was making with the uh, toilet paper rolls, I think it was. No. Emily says she, she'll try and come back, so let's we'll see. Mm -hmm. I'm good, man. How are you, honey? Like I said, I watch videos. I don't always comment or anything. Yeah. At the same time, I'll watch them, but I don't always comment on there. I watch I a lot of videos because you we don't have in cable TV. All we have are internet and we have fire sticks and YouTube's on my fire stick in the bedroom, so I watch a lot in there. Especially at night and things. Yeah. Well, my Riku does not like my house. So, me trying to rot watch things on the Riku, forget it. Ain't going to work. So, when I canceled my cable and everything, I had to turn around and have them put back on the basic cable. Because otherwise, I wouldn't want, be able to watch my Netflix and stuff. It wouldn't come in properly. And so, I still have the highest internet. Can you but hear me? I, we can hear you. I still have the highest internet, but I had to go back and I had to suck in and pay the basic cable cost. If I get booted again, don't worry. Yeah, um, you're back. Probably. Just, well, I, I was going to say I was going to go ahead and go for the day if he if I get booted again. So. <clears throat> So if it boots me out, I'll go ahead and I'll try and be in chat, but he's, uh, he'll want me in there for a little bit with him. Oh, well, right. shoot. Wait. I hung up the phone with my daughter and turned my phone off, and that's where I got chat for a year. <laughs> <laughs> so it's back now. <clears throat> I like that. That worked out. Is that a pencil mark, maybe? I'm happy. That looks pretty darn good. Do you want to show it? Yeah, I got the worst out of the way. <laughs> so, have y'all? Right. I'm sure... Everybody knows who Genevieve is. She makes albums and stuff. And I'm working on the one she's doing now. But hers is, uh, it's got another edge here and comes over the top. And I didn't want mine to do that. So a coffee paper stain, you know, covered my pages. The cover. And... I got my um, signature thing put in, and they're sewn in, and it's just like that, and they're real sturdy because in between here, where your fin is, in your fin, you put tie back, and then your page that you sew to it. You put tie back. Oh, okay. So it's not going anywhere. I mean, you know, it's it's in there, and your pages are really 
you know, they open nice and flat. I like that. And then you just add on to these to build it up. So that's what I made today. I'm happy with it. I got to cover my, you know, this part and this part inside covers. But the worst of it is done. And it's very nice. And I love the feel of the coffee dyed paper. Mm. You know, I just love that feel. That yep. crispy. Yeah. Oh. But you really got to glue it down good, you know, because your bubbles in your paper will mess up and stuff. So that's what I did. I've been wanting to do this for, gosh, probably over a month. And she only, came out with, she only came out with the wonder last, what, a month and a month and a half ago? Yeah, and I bought it. And uh, I finally got my workbooks put together and built this part today for this one. And I wouldn't have probably done it if I hadn't have come on here and hung out with Marina. So, yay. Yay. Yeah, Emily says so she watched this one. It's really cool the way they do it. But I love the sew-in. It's not coming out. It's not going to go anywhere. You know, I haven't, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, it's, it's neat. It's really neat. So... All right, you can take it off of me. That's all I'm going to do today. I'm happy I got that done. All right. Tessa, how are you doing? We haven't heard from you in a while. I'm a-okay. I'm not going to camera again. But you're what? I couldn't hear her. I'm not going to go on camera this time because I'm working on something else. All right. That's okay. You guys having a conversation and backing me up is all I care about. Exactly. Like I said, I didn't care whether you guys were on camera or not. Well, you know, when you're doing something like you're doing, people like to stay focused on what yeah. you're doing. And I understand that. It's it's so much better. Well, that's why I've also, I've also kept the camera mostly on me. So that they can see what I'm actually doing. But I'm also yeah, giving you guys time to show off your stuff, you know? You're doing the project. We were just hanging out just to hang out. And like I said, at least I got my workbooks done. I got my this album put together the way it's going so far. And I'm happy. Well, I'm almost, yeah, I'm almost ready to, to get off for the day. Because it's been two, almost three hours now. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't. No, when you've got friends and you're talking, it goes by so quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, like I don't want to sit here all day. So I mean, yeah. I could keep going and going and going, but I'm already starting to get tired. I got to make dinner in a bit, and I want to just sit and relax and watch my shows that I recorded from last night. Exactly. Yeah, I won't be live anywhere tomorrow. But Thursday, probably on my channel. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Awesome. So adding some of the pages and things in on this. So I'll be happy. I got to work. <laughs> and maybe do another sun catcher and stuff. So yeah, we can, you know, if you want us to, to come on to your channel, that'll be great. If not, we will watch in chat. Oh, I love having everyone on. I enjoy the company. Yeah, I'm the yeah. same way. I, yeah. It's not that I don't like doing lives. I just don't like doing them by myself. I get bored very easily by myself. I never know what to talk yeah. about. Yeah, I run out of things to say. Yeah. <laughs> so and at least if you're having a conversation to people, you can also read chat at the same time. And I don't have yeah, a... And I get so... I get so wrapped up what it, in what I'm doing, I forget yep. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's why I'm really happy. I think we all kind of do. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with chat and I focus on what you're doing. You know. So. 
But Doc, I'm a happy camper quick. today. I seem to and, do it fine on my channel, but when I'm focused on something, forget it. Yep. It's and out Nova was so good today. I'm yes. happy with her. Yep. Yes, she is. She is yeah. doing very, very good. Uh, other than mom's dog, when mom went out, melt down, everything was fine. My lips are gone. Two of my lips are gone. I'm going to have to find them. Well, I see one pair. Yeah, the pink one's here, but not the red and the light pink. Those seem to have uh, gone in my... They got to be there somewhere, Marina. Yeah, no, I think they're in the book. I think they might be in the book. I'm going to look in the book in a second. Or in the page, I mean. Oh. Yep, they were in the page. Here they are. Yeah, he's off tomorrow. He's got to replace one of the windshield wipers and he wants to check the back brakes on his car and we take that car to when we go to savannah so he gets yeah. that done now and we're gonna go. did, did you get did you get the defrost like oh you're gonna go to savannah if you don't have the defrost we're going we're taking our car oh okay okay yeah we always take our car on the longer trips because it's new and I would just rather do take our car. It's comfy. And we'll go, we go, let's see, we leave here and we go down 25 to, I can't remember the other road there in Statesboro that it turns into. And we hit, let's see, when we get to Millen, we stop at McDonald's and get a frappe. And then we go on down to Statesboro and we hit their hot lobby. Then we go on down into Pooler and we hit their Hobby Lobby there. Jeez. And then we go on over into Savannah. And we hit their Hobby Lobby and their Tuesday morning. And then we head back home. And when we get back in Augusta, we get Dennis and we go get something to eat. So. It's a nice day trip. It's Yeah, sounds like it. I mean, it takes us about, stopping at the stores and everything takes us about, it's a 10, 11 hour day. Yep. But it's so worth it. Well, yeah, I've seen some of the deals you've ended up with. Yeah. If our Hobby Lobby runs out of something, I can, I can either go to Aiken, Greenwood, or down towards Savannah. And we always do it when they start doing their clearance. So it's it's worth the drive. For the money you save, you know, at the, what is it, 75% off yep. at Hobby on their clearance. It's so worth it. I mean, if you spend $100, you've saved $300. Yep. And you're not going to spend that $300 that you saved in gas. Hopefully. I am not looking forward to these gas prices going up and up. Ours is already up. Yep, ours is too. It's climbing every day. It's ridiculous, I think, to shut that pipeline down and put yep. people out of work. Because they're moving fuel but they're moving it now on semi trucks and railway. So it's more dangerous and making it more polluted doing that than it was with the pipeline. Uh, we'll see what happens. I know. It's just crazy. <clears throat> but I love the way your album's coming out. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's coming out so well right now. Don't forget to give Marina a thumbs up, everybody. Yes, please. So when I come back on tomorrow, I'll have this page done and we will start working on the second one. Yay. I like that other little thing you've done, the little 
three ring, the little ring flip up waterfall thing. That is so cute. Yeah, I have. I can show that one as well. I haven't finished that one. I've got to finish that one. So maybe when I come on your channel on Thursday, I'll finish that one. Uh, it is just so cute. You ought to show it. Yeah, I can show it. Yeah, it's really sweet. This is the right now. I'm still working. I still have to do the cover, but this is the waterfall book, and it is using the Cupid and Company um, Valentine's paper. And it's by Echo Park. And I bought the digital kit. And it's got basically eight pages. And it's cascading from, I think it's three inches all the way down to the eight inch mark. But basically, this is it. So and then you've got it flipped with the tuck in here. And then the same thing on the back. You've got a tuck in the back. And you can put pictures or journaling or whatever the case you may, you, you'd like. This one's got a double pocket in here. It's got one here. And if I can ever get it out, that, that one and this one. And then the back one has it just by one. And, you, and this is, you can see where the little lips came from. Yeah. See, I'm going to also do punches and stuff like that for Emily's album as well. I, I wish I could get a, my hands on a uh, rose punch, punch, but I can't, I don't have one. I haven't seen any no, I've never seen one, but mm -hmm. anyway, so then you've got this one here that's got the insert that says forever and always, and it's got the little. I just want that I think I'm going to get you to give me the measurements of the pages, and I'm going to make one. Uh, well, it starts at. Hold on. If you want to write this down, it's 525, 5.25 all, all, all of it. And it starts at three and a half inches and go down by half an inch. Okay. To so, eight inches. Yeah, till eight inches. And okay. the back cover is eight inches by 5.25. And the front cover is uh, 5.25 by seven and a half. So it's five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, the whole thing. And it starts, the first flip is at 325. And then it's five. And then half an inch down each way. Five, eight. Then you have this one. And it's got the little photo booth with, with just the thing it says, with all my heart. And there's this one here that says the love on it. Then you've got that one. And I try to make it very, very simple. I wanted you to be able to put pictures on there and, you know, any journaling, wherever. Sip on that right. one. Just too cute, Marina. And then you've got the little tag and you can put another journaling thing. Well, hello, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Then you've got this one here. And then you've got the kissing booth, the same thing as what I did for Emily's. And then you've got this one that's got the double mat pictures. This one I left it love. Just very simple that you can put a picture in front in, in, in the middle here. Yeah. Same with this one. This one you can put just the little things that you guys do. Or even like, you know, put this really tiny and, and put the picture in there. And then the very last page, I made it a little bit more fancier where I've got the, the digital coming in with all the different prints of it. And same with the back. I used all the different colors of paper. I think I should have, that should have come out a little bit more, but who cares? And then the back, I'm going to leave plain. I'm not going to put anything on this. I'm just going to, I might, I might put the, a piece of that velvet. I'm not sure yet though. And then the back part, I can show you this part because my, um, the front of it is buried right now. It's still drying. And that's um, I decoupaged it with the uh, napkin. And that's basically it. All right, ladies, I am going to get off of here. And because we've been on for over three hours. And I'm starting to get hungry again. Plus, um, my game is going to be starting in a little bit. At least I'm going to want to try to play. And I've got, I got an avalanche of of uh, flowers that just went flying came out of the bag there we go 
So is there anything anybody wants to show right now or are we all good? I'm good. I'm good. Emily, you good? says your book's adorable. Thank you. And uh, see, Kathy, this is the one that I did today so far. This is the one, this is the one that we've been working on. So, and it says the love story of Emily and James Lee. And so far we've got that. I've got all the pictures. The pictures are all done. I just got to put it all in and then you open it up and that's it so far. And then you'll have pictures on the top and pictures on the bottom. So, and it's got the little notes and it's got the red velvet paper that just makes it pop. So this is it so far. And then it's got the, I think that heart came out really, really nice. I love that heart right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for everybody and whoever hung out with me this afternoon. And um, on this really crazy, freezing weather type of day. And uh, hopefully I'll be back on tomorrow around one o'clock, same time. Um, I will make a post for it and uh, have everybody be able to uh, preview it and remind you that I'll be on. And otherwise, if I don't come on tomorrow, I will definitely be on Thursday with Joe if she'll have me. Um, well, either way, I'm not sure what you're doing, so it depends. So everybody stay safe and thank you very, very much for coming in. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye, everybody.